Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're gonna make an exercise about a single footing, about a footing and a geogrid under the footing. But before I start, if you're in civil engineering and especially to Plexus and geotechnical engineering, this is the right channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. So I've done several other tutorials about geogrids in case stone columns and how to use a geogrid so today I'm going to show you this example so this is a footing and the loads that will leave the footing to the soil that will be transferred from the footing to the soil will leave in a 45 degree angle not always in general if it's a good soil so this will create a force in this direction and a force in this direction so we do not have any problem in this direction the problem is in the horizontal direction so this is where the geogrid comes geogrid only works in actual uh, axial force not in compression so first of all I've created a borehole here we can see in stratigraphy my Borehole that I've created, it's from 0 to minus 40. For the soil properties, I've put any properties in it, but it's a mediocre soil. Uh, you can see here in the parameters, it's 1000 kN, it's very uh, mediocre soil, it's a uh, cohesive soil like uh, mud. So, this is for the soil here. Then event structure I've created here a plate and after creating the plate I've created a surface and the coordinates of the surface are here minus one we can see that it's minus one so here it's about one to two meters uh, you can put any values that you want depending on the exercise then I've created a surface load here you can find the surface load here you can find the plate so I've also assigned the properties to my uh, to my plate it does not matter it's only to transmit the, the the forces to the geogrid to the soil and this is the geogrid I've put any values also here it's not important when we finish and assign the material for every uh, every items you're gonna go and create a mesh so here we can view our mesh that I've already, I've already created so this is the mesh here you can see the plate and the soil so we're gonna close it go to flow condition here we're not gonna change anything we're gonna leave it as this and here I'm gonna redo my calculation the initial phase I didn't assign anything in phase one I've turned on the plate and the surface load which is minus five in phase two I've turned on the plate the load and also the geogrid here we can see calculation type it's plastic as always it's also plastic here so I'm gonna generate the calculation here there's no nodes and stress points selected for the curves I generally do not select a node unless I need to uh, it depends if you have a special place where you want to calculate the formation in it it's usually the middle of the foundation or the top of the wall 
So I'm gonna ignore the feedback and calculate. This is the initial phase. It does not take long usually. The phase one, it will take a little bit more of time than the initial phase. And same thing about the phase two, it will take more time than the phase one. Well, I'm gonna tell you before I continue to the output that if you're new to, to, to Plexus, there's plenty of tutorials on this channel that you can watch to become uh, a, a, a professional in Plexus. And there's also a lot of tutorials that I made previously about GeoGrids. So if you have any question, you can leave them in the comment section or you can watch the other tutorials. So we're gonna go and check the output. Here, we can see the initial phase, there's no displacement. This is phase one. You can see the displacement here. This is phase two. You can see how the, the, the displacement radically went, went down. And this is the loads. So let's see the output. Uh, so the displacement is very small because it's a very small load. It's only minus five kilonewton, which is nothing. I'm gonna turn off the soil here. Then go to phase two. I'm gonna see the deformation. In the geogrid. So this is the total displacement in the geogrid. You can also see the forces in the geogrid. From here. So you can use this parameter to double check the geogrid you've chosen for the foundation. You can also draw a graph after of course you chosen a point. So as you remember I didn't choose any point. If you choose a point you can put it here and draw a graph. I've also made a previous tutorial about how to generate graphs and calculation note from Plexus. So here you can check the stress. You can check how the stress differ in the soil. These are the pore pressure, we will not use them, or the ground uh, water head. We can see if we have any failure point. So we do not. It's because mainly we didn't assign a large load to our model. So if you have any question, just leave them in the comments section. And this is it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.